Hi guys, I know it has been forever since I've done a video. This is kind of where I've been. I'm gonna explain where I've been, what's going on, and um, yeah, so here we go. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing great. Um, I am doing much better. Um, there's been some issues. Uh, first issue, I'm noticing I'm having a lot of problems right now dealing with my lighting because there is storms and rain going on. I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty gray and awful. So I have, I have some lighting. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully you can see me okay. First of all, and this, is, this isn't the reason why I haven't been doing videos, but this is just something that it's kind of like an insult, or I don't know. See what you think. All right. Now, there's been a lot of changes with YouTube, and uh, a while back I got an email saying that they were unmonetizing me. No more. And I was like, what the heck? So I looked into it, and apparently they have this new rule that um, you have to have a certain amount of hours of watch time in order to be monetized. So uh, us little guys are being kicked right to the curb, which really is annoying. I mean, it's not like I need the money per se, or you know, I'm depending on it as income. It's not that, it's just, um, I've had this channel since 2013. So I've been, you know, I mean, yes, I haven't been working at the content in a while, but um, I, I've worked hard at getting content and videos, and I really love my channel, and they're gonna tell me, oh, you're not good enough, so we're not gonna monetize you anymore. That was kind of like, kick me when I'm down, why don't you? So that's that, and they're like, oh, but if you, you know, if your stats change, we'll reconsider. I'm like, oh, don't do me any favors. <laughs> so who knows, maybe if I start putting content out regularly and I get more watch time, they'll re-monetize me. Okay, so that aside, uh, what else has been going on? Okay, so I have been having problems with my health, and um, I mean, I don't wanna, complain because right now I'm doing great and I'll I'll tell you why uh, but and I don't know how much I told you guys about what's going on but uh, back I don't know it's a year and a half ago or something whatever I ended up in hospital because my blood pressure was really high and that whole issue with my blood pressure and apparently because my blood pressure was so high for so long I developed um, chronic congestive heart failure and that's something that like really old people have and uh, I mean yeah I'm getting older I'm gonna be 47 next week <laughs> but I'm not 80 <laughs> so anyway um, so basically what that means is your body can't handle a lot of salt it can't <clears throat> process it um, it's something with the ventricle and uh, because it was beating so hard all the time with the high blood pressure it made it really I don't know it's not really hardening but it's yeah it's thicker it's it's harder than it should be so anyway it doesn't process salt very well and can cause swelling well my diet went straight to heck and it and my, my diet wasn't good to begin with but I was eating just grazing all day and not eating good foods and I was swelling a lot. I mean, just from the, the diet and the swelling, I gained a lot of weight and I was like, I am not doing a video. I mean, I know that's very vain and whatever. It is what it is, but that's part of the reason um, and just being so busy. Um, now, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on what I'm doing um, with my diet because I, I did start um, a ketogenic diet I started that a little over a month ago, and I'm down like 22 pounds. I'm feeling the best I've felt in a very long time. So I want to do a whole video just on that because I need to get the word out on it. I mean, it's like life-changing for my husband as well. Cause my, I mean, I've, I had a lot of inflammation and um, headaches, inflammation, allergies, asthma, 
all of these issues and fibromyalgia and arthritis and it's just all of these issues stem from sugar carbohydrates making my body is very sensitive to sugar glucose carbohydrates gluten and my body was just saying that is it I can't take it anymore you need to stop I'm freaking out here <laughs> so Starting the ketogen di ketogenic diet was amazing. All the, the swelling is gone. Like, it, it's just amazing. Um, the first few days was really difficult, but that's just kind of, you, you push through it and you get to the other side and I don't want to go back. Like, I have zero. Oh, and also I'm doing intermittent fasting. It's another thing that goes along sometimes with the ketogenic diet. But I'm doing intermittent fasting, which means I don't eat, I stop eating at like eight o'clock the night, the, that night, and then the, I don't eat again until noon the next day. And it, it's been, I haven't, it's no problem. It is literally no problem. Like this diet makes you, you don't have the cravings, you don't have the intense hunger. You, you just, you, I'm gonna do a whole video because I could go on forever and I'm not going to because I want to make this video relatively short so okay enough about that so the kids are doing really well their their schedules was a, it was a little crazy during the school year because um, my son went to one school from like 8 to 2 and then my daughter did a part-time preschool or preschool pre-k <clears throat> at another school and she only went for two hours. So <laughs> like I had to take my son to the school and then later in the day I took my daughter to this other school, dropped her off and then like an hour and a half later I had to turn around and like pick her up. So it was, and then go to rush to the other school to pick my son up. So it was like crazy. It was crazy. Plus feeling terrible and not just not even wanting to get out of bed and oh, horrible. <sighs> so yeah. I mean, it was just really difficult. Life was difficult in general without throwing videos in. <laughs> um, oh, and also, I'm trying to start a nonprofit. <laughs> yeah, trying to do all this. Um, but anyway, it's an interesting story. I'm gonna try to make it quick. But I, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I crochet, and I was sitting on the sofa one day crocheting a blanket, and. I got this overwhelming sense that God was speaking to me. I know that sounds crazy. Stick with me, please. Um, and I never had that before. Like, I am um, religious. Like, I go to church every week. I'm very, I love the Lord. And, you know, I have a, we have a Bible study here every week. I don't talk about it, and I probably should talk about it more. Um, because he's the center of our family and like my life so but anyway I'm sitting there on the sofa crocheting and I got this overwhelming feeling that God put it on my heart that I needed to start this nonprofit I got images in my head like he was showing me pictures of children like uh, orphans and I'm like what and it was so overwhelming like I don't even know how to explain it there's no words to explain the feeling the just what happened that day but and I'm arguing with him in my head I'm like oh, are you kidding me I know nothing about starting a nonprofit like you can't argue with the Lord I mean if he took put something on your heart you better do it because I am convicted every day let me tell you um, so yeah and <clears throat> coincidentally a, a, a girl in my Bible study who I'm very close friends with um, she volunteers with this organization called Four Kids of South Florida and the organization basically is they take in kids in crisis basically um, when a child is taken from their home four kids kind of takes them in and they have a safe uh, something called safe place and they they hold them until they can find um, foster care or you know get them in, into the system essentially until whatever's happening with their parents can resolve um, and then they have um, his caring place which is a home for um, pregnant girls and they don't have anywhere else to go and they go there and they get support and they have lots of programs lots of programs 
so I contacted I contacted them and I ended up donating blankets to his caring place um, I sent over like maybe seven blankets for the babies the newborns and they loved it they want me to come and um, teach them how to crochet and all this stuff um, so but I and I really want to get into a safe place which I'm meeting I'm gonna hopefully be meeting with somebody next week about that but because um, I really feel like I need to get the blankets into the arms of these children who are ripped out of their homes in the middle of the night sometimes taken you know their siblings are taken away like everything is taken away and they have nothing and I want to get these blankets to these kids so that they have something for them like something that they can call their own and that it's theirs and I just feel like it's a metaphor like it's you know wrapping the love of Jesus around these children and that's what I want to do like so I have <laughs> my bedroom is full of these blankets and I'm, I'm gonna insert a picture of the blankets here so you can see And I'm also, going along with that, I want to um, enlist the help of other crochet crusaders <laughs> to help me in this. And what I'm going, going to do is, if you, if you crochet or you're interested in making these blankets, they're very easy to make, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do tutorial videos for these blankets um, and direct people from the website to the tutorials so that if you want to make them, you can contact me and I will um, get you the yarn, I will get you the hook, the pattern, everything that you need, plus a self-addressed stamped whatever bag, envelope, <laughs> box, to send it back to me um, so that I can get as much help as I can because you would not believe the amount of children that go through the system. It's pretty heartbreaking. <laughs> it's a lot. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds a year. Um, so. That's that. I'm sorry I, it took me so long to talk about it, but it's something I'm very passionate about. And I have tons of hats. I mean, like two big bags of hats I'm going to be putting up on my website to sell for fundraising purposes uh, to buy the yarn to make the blankets. Um, and I think I'm going to put, uh, I've been making, so I have like these paracord bracelets. Um, and it's just, this is just a, a few examples like you know they're very simple and but it's something that you know if I could sell for five or ten bucks and you know every little bit helps right <laughs> so yeah oh my goodness this is crazy I don't know if I have anything else to tell you that's a lot I know so basically I just want to get more content up I have I have the new FabFitFun that's really cool I want to I want to show you guys and the new Erin Condren surprise box and um, so yeah I mean and if you have any suggestions and things you want to see um, be great oh yeah because right now <laughs> I forgot to tell you my kids are doing summer camp so I have a little bit more time and then when they go back to school, my daughter's going to be in, she's going to two different schools because she's doing another year of uh, pre-K. And my son's in one school and she's going to two different schools, but there's going to be a bus involved. So <laughs> it's, it's a lot. All right. So that's it. I'm going to do a video on the ketogenic diet. If you guys are interested, keep an eye out for that. And I love you all and I miss you all so much. <laughs> As always, I love you. God bless.